Hey, it's Steve, welcome back to Clear Direct. So now that I've changed out my audio panel, I'm gonna finish changing the oil, wait for the rain to pass, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of all the Garmin audio panel hidden features. The GMA 342 as well as the GMA 345 have a myriad of features that a lot of people don't know about. So let's go check it out. I'm Steve Cox. I fly fighters, airliners, and general aviation aircraft. I'm into tech, travel, anything that flies making friends and videos along the way. Got her helping. Okay, so the GMA 342 is what I have here, but pretty much everything I'm gonna talk to is applicable in the 345 as well. So first off, uh, split comm mode. You can transmit uh, the pilot on the on COM1 and the co-pilot on COM2. So split transmit if you're uh, sharing work, workload. So you simultaneously press both COM1 mic and COM2 mic keys. And so it's gonna look like that. All four of those are lit up. So I can hear, Ani, are you, can you hear something? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> loud. All right, we'll turn that off. Altimeter. Now she was listening to Adis that I had. Sorry about that, I'll turn that down. <laughs> I couldn't hear that other than bleed over. Okay, next up is ICS uh, intercom isolation. So uh, obviously I think uh, people with kids know this one uh, the best. So you hit that and now Ani cannot hear me. And, <laughs> um, and so I can just focus on ATC. And then if I unselect it there and select crew, now we can talk to each other, but kids in the back seat, or if you have a, a six seater in the, uh, in the, with the four uh, folks in the back, the passengers cannot hear you. Okay, now obviously volume knobs, you've got the intercom volume right here, and then music if you had it right there. Uh, and then of course for co-pilot, same thing. All right, radio mute, press and hold the music key so music key, press and hold that. Radio mute music enabled. There you go, that's what she says. So when you hear radio. Five, three, Zulu. Wait. It'll turn off the music, okay? Intercom mute music, so if we talk to each other, that'll mute the music. You can press and hold the aux two key right here. So press and hold that. Intercom mute music enabled. Okay, so let's disable it. Intercom mute music disabled. And while we're at it, let's go ahead Radio mute music disabled. Disable that one. So passenger muting during comm transmission. This is a handy one. Press and hold aux one. Passenger mute enabled. Speaker key turns on the speaker clearly. Testing, testing. Yep, I'm transmitting uh, also over the speaker. So if I were to make a, um, a PA, you can do that. Uh, here's kind of a cool one. If you have a bigger aircraft, PA mode. So press and hold the speaker key and that will enable push to talk over your speaker. Um, but that's interesting because that turns off so that you know you're not gonna be transmitting on COM1. Moving on, split PA mode. So I can transmit on the radio while Ani uh, admonishes the kids in the back seat, <laughs> or she can address the, the, the passengers. So how do we do that? Press both mic keys and then press and hold the speaker key for one second. There you go, so now Ani can make a PA with her push to talk button. All right, moving on, 3D audio, the moment we've all been waiting for. Enable, uh, you press and hold the pilot key. 3D audio right. Okay, unfortunately, my uh, avionics installer switched it. Uh, and that's not a dip switch thing or anything I can do right here. So they've got to uh, they've got to go ahead and uh, tear open the wiring to fix that. Uh, another reason why I'm just thrilled with my avionics installer. If you can sense the sarcasm. Tone. Yeah. Uh, there's a video coming, by the way. Bonnie asked me what 3D audio is. It's interesting because her she's unable to take advantage of 3D audio with her uh, current in-flight mic setup. I believe in-flight mic sells a more advanced professional version that does take advantage of 3D audio. So, but uh, obviously the Bose A20 is capable of, of stereo and that's essentially what this is. It's stereo, but it's gonna spatially tune the music so that um, if my daughter Elena was sitting behind Ani, I could hear it spatially over there. Kellen would be at my six o'clock directly, so 
Elena would be at, you know, my five o'clock, Elena at six o'clock, Ani at three o'clock. And then also your two radios, your radio one, if you have both receiving, your radio one's gonna be at like your 11 o'clock radio, two is gonna be at your one o'clock. So it kind of helps with spatial orientation and just awareness. Temperature one, two Celsius. Good afternoon, Kansas City approach. November two, two Tango Alpha descending out of 5,300 for 4,000. Kansas City approach control expected visit approach from way uh, three six. Automated six, weather observation. One seven. We do have that though, and any chance for a practice I think I have the airport in sight. 3D audio is uh, enabled, I believe. Standard audio. And so back to standard audio because I don't want to have it backwards. That's going to be SA degrading. So if you want to take advantage of the, the clearance record play, so it's always recording the last 60 seconds of audio uh, so that you can play back a IFR clearance if you missed it. You can uh, obviously just hit the play button. Uh, while it's, So I'll play it back and I'll demonstrate the way you stop it. Uh, you hit the marker slash mute button. So play, and you can stop it by hitting that button right there. All right, so... To use Music Source 3, press the Music key and use the Select key. So Music, and then you can get to Radio uh, Source 3 right there. I've you've got uh, Radio or, uh, Music Source 3 is right there. I've got uh, another source hardwired in. I believe it's Source 2. If, if you pan over to the right, you can see a uh, three and a half uh, millimeter jack right there for uh, us to plug in iPhone music or whatnot. So one difference here is the 342 doesn't have Bluetooth audio, the 345 does have Bluetooth audio, so a little bit of difference there. Uh, okay, to use the telephone input, obviously you hit the tell button, so right there. Here's some audio file stuff. It has the uh, equalization or equalizer, so press the music select key right there and the pilot key simultaneously to change the EQ settings, equalization. So let's hear what it sounds. So there's disabled, classical, pop, or rock. Rock equalizer. Classic equalizer. Pop equalizer. Equalizer disabled. Cool. Now there's music bass boost. Giddy up. So let's press the uh, music select key and the crew key. Medium bass boost. High bass boost. Bass boost disabled. Oh no, we need to Medium bass. bass high okay, bass boost. there we go. <laughs> so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed learning a few more capabilities out of the GMA 342 and 345. I think it's important to kind of mess with those every once in a while to realize what you can use and if you stumble into a mode and how to get out of it. I'll leave a link in the description below for the pilot guide uh, so you can download and print a copy of it uh, for yourself out. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And I've got some more videos along the way. This is going to be the last flight for a while. And I got to go away for about six weeks on a military deployment stateside. Not too bad. So unfortunately, not a lot of flyers right now. Not a lot, not a lot of traffic. So we're going to kind of take advantage of that and do a uh, evening tour of downtown Portland and see if they can let us transition over PDX. But uh, everybody stay well, stay healthy out there. And uh, I'll put some uh, some flying footage. So until next time, clear and direct. Delta Tower, Bonanza 3500, Delta number one, runway 25. Bonanza 3500, Delta Trust, runway 25, quick deal. Clear to captain, runway 25, Bonanza 3500, Delta. Approach Bonanza 3500, Delta is the one uh, downtown. If you need me to do something else, uh, let me know. You're supposed to dance downtown, is that correct? Right? A for me, 359, Delta. Okay, are you trying to stay there? Uh, only about five more minutes. Bonanza, just give me your call sign one more time. November 8359er Delta. Bonanza 8359er Delta. Roger, squawk 0174. Portland Tower, Bonanza 8359er Delta is over downtown. 1500, right hand turn, request uh, one able. The uh, VFR transition what? over PDX to the northeast. Bonanza 8359 Delta, Portland Tower. You can cross Portland what? midfield at or above 1500. And what's your destination? Great, thank you, Trout Dale. Bonanza 8359 or Delta will see this right hand turn transition midfield at uh, about 1500. Thank you. Yeah. This is awesome. Bonanza 59 or Delta, you proceed via the North Bank for Trout Dale. I'll proceed at your discretion. Bonanza 8359 or Delta, thanks for the help. Trout Dale Tower, Bonanza 8359 or Delta is uh, about six miles to the northwest information uh, box truck. Bonanza 59 Delta, runway 25 to the left. Runway 25 to the left, Bonanza 359 Delta. 